um, the whole, all these little pieces are about triggering our, guiding us in our communication, how we can more effectively and more lovingly communicate with each other so that um, we communicate what is essential um, and we're guided in how to communicate so that we don't get, um, you know, stuck into some old patterns that just don't work, you know. So often you see tribes or families, teams that have these patterns that they do over and over again and they're often very hurtful and people start to build up calluses and separations between each other and, um, and eventually those relationships often break down um, um, because they don't have the support of how to create, communicate and create in a new way together. And this supplies the insight into ways to communicate that are fresh and uh, access, help people access different parts of themselves. And, um, and uh, yeah, we use the colors to also to uh, help us vibrate at different levels. Um, these cards here, and there's an awful lot of them, um, and uh, um, they uh, are broken down into like the different colors. And so this one I know because it's orange will have to do with all that orange resonance, and it is. It's about feeling. And uh, when, because there's so much on here, um, this is the, these cards are being updated now. They're in the computer. And, um, and what I would do with the card is I, we'd bring it down. And I got a three. And so what I do is I count down into the third sentence. And I would use that third sentence to communicate my uh, three minutes or whatever. So I set the, 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 the timer and I would communicate the third sentence. Um, the third sentence is, oh, it's a, it's a quote, I feel dot, dot, dot. So for three minutes, I would just share with my tribe how I feel. So, and I'll give you a short version of that. I feel um, excited to have this opportunity to talk into a camera. Um, I think this is the first time I talked into a camera about this game, and it's, uh, it's exciting, but it's also a little... Um, uh, scary, um, and um, uh, I feel um, um, uh, enlivened, uh, and uh, I feel a lot of sensation in my upper body, but I feel a little numb kind of lower down, and, um, um, but that's okay, I just feel all this expression wanting to flow through my face, I guess it's because that's the part that you see. And you're not even seeing down there, so maybe that's why I don't feel that down there. <laughs> so, but, ah, now there's a lot more energy down there. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, I feel excited about sharing the game. And uh, although there's so many components to it, that um, I also feel like I'm, I can feel my, that it's not nearly enough time to really explain all that can be done with this game. Um, and um, in its earlier phases with tribes, it's about helping the tribes open up in, in their, uh, with each other and open up to find what their, their mission is and to see if there isn't a way that they can make their life better by sharing in, in a new way. And uh, <clears throat> the Peace Tribe game has, um, um, or I'm working on, having a system to help people share with each other that um, exchanges um, resources. And, <clears throat> and there's a tribal collective. The game is also a seed for, uh, for many tribes operating together in a tribal collective. I call it the Peace Tribe Collective. And I have the visions of these tribes that share what I call a heart quarters, a space that, um, you know, has the things they need. So, for example, you might have ten tribes that share the same theater and share the same um, lot of offices equipment and um, video equipment, uh, fancy cameras or any of that kind of stuff that they might need to fulfill their dreams. And... Um, 
And um, some tribes might have money, some tribes might have time, some tribes might have experience, that, and they can offer what they have to offer and um, have it uh, like a, a system so that it's equitable and everyone feels like it's fair and everyone has access to these resources. So that's the little further um, uh, vision um, once the tribes feel uh, more established and uh, like they want to take a step forward and have um, a representative of their tribe connect with a bunch of representatives of other tribes and help to source a resource center for the whole group of tribes. Mm -hmm. And then um, I also see these different peace tribe collectives that have another way that they operate. And um, I think that this is a new kind of social system, a way for um, for uh, uh, for people to to create a new reality, you know, once they get comfortable and understanding of how they can share in an equitable fashion, they may be willing to step out of their cages of um, wages and you know their isolation tanks and move into living in groups, um, living in. Uh, communities and uh, having having more of their needs fulfilled, having a more exciting and beautiful life and less work and more play, you know, really. And um, so that's really what this is about. Um,